send unto them only How's it going, everybody? My name is Magnum Martell, and welcome back to another beautiful episode of Magnum's Rants. And before we begin, I have a little announcement I'd like to make. I'm going to be taking a few days off of YouTube. I'm not going to be producing any videos. I am currently in the process of dealing with a bit of a family tragedy. Don't worry, Big Daddy Magnum's fine. I'm not going away forever. I'm just going to be gone for a couple of days, and I don't really have the time to produce anything after today due to what I have to deal with. I'll tell you the truth. One of my uncles just died. He suffered a fatal heart attack at 10 o'clock this morning. And while I'm not close with the majority of my families, it's not even this uncle in general, I did know him a lot better when I was a kid. He moved away a long time ago. And so we have to, as a family, deal with <laughs> the things going on with his heart attack and his will because apparently he actually left me a couple of things he wanted me to have. My Uncle Lucius was a good man. He was a bit of an asshole. He punched my boss in the face like 15 years ago when I was a little kid, before I even worked at the place I work at now. Beautiful, beautiful man. Yeah, his boxing career was something else in the local papers back in the day. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to not be uploading for the, maybe the next couple days other than I have a video that's preset that I did finish because it's the finale of a series that I was doing. But don't worry, I'll be back. I just have to deal with this whole mess going on. Damn shame, too. I was looking forward to playing some New World this week since I just fucking bought it. But anyway, let's get on to the video. I'm sure that everybody here in the audience today is familiar with fucking Twitter. You know Twitter, the Bird app, that cesspool of a website that promotes social justice and feminism and ruins everything that it touches. A website that unfortunately, in this day and age, to be a content creator, you have to have one. I don't have one anymore. I have lost two separate Twitter accounts myself. The first one, I'll admit, I was being an asshole. I was not being fair. I was in a bad fucking mood and somebody said something about my grandmother that just set me off and I went on a fucking tangent. I'll straight up admit it. I called this bitch every goddamn derogatory word for a woman in the in the book. Nobody insults my grandmother and lives to tell about it, especially to my face. Granted, it was Twitter. There's nothing I can do, but I remember her face. She better hope that I never see it. At any rate, my account got shut down because of the things that I had said. I mean, I called her a cunt like 15 times in one sentence. I'm not even going to lie to you. I called her a whore like 37 times total. I'm not even exaggerating right now. I was so fucking mad. I spent like 45 minutes just flipping out. It tends to happen when you have a bipolar disorder and somebody insults the one person you care about most in this world. But anyway, I lost my second account because I took on Assassin's Creed Sisterhood. And, you know, that fat skank Kelfie and all of her little simps which I have been producing a video for like the last year about the sisterhood movement. I had to scrap everything because I learned some new things. It's a topic I intend to revisit in the near, in the distant future when I have a little bit more time and some better editing quality. At any rate, I lost two separate accounts. One, I admittedly deserve it. The other, simply because, well, quite frankly, I said that someone wasn't a real fan of a video game franchise, that they're ruining, and all of their people went in and false reported every tweet. And this is one of the problems with Twitter. Twitter has a huge problem with communication. Number one, Twitter will defend and even actively not ban people if it likes them. There is a lot of problems there. If you are a blue checkmark social justice warrior, you can almost say whatever the hell you want and get away with it. There is very little you have to do something really bad. On the other hand, if your account is fucking huge but you post the wrong thing, you're very likely to be struck down. Most people who use Twitter only use it on the necessity at this point because it's quickly ingrained itself into the lives of our society today. We're at the point where politicians literally use it, and if you're not the right kind of politician, they'll ban you, and it will hurt you in the long run when it comes to votes. Now, being a private company, Twitter is subject to being allowed to make its own rules and ban and remove things and people at its own discretion, and I agree with that. I completely agree with that, with one big problem. Websites like Twitter and Facebook, they are not so much private... The private websites anymore. They're more like public platforms now because they have become necessary. They've become something that everyone has to have to stay in the loop these days. The fact that they go out of their way to remove certain things does not make them a, a, a just a private source anymore. It makes them a publisher, and a publisher counts as a platform of sorts. This is where the whole 
freedom of speech doesn't equal freedom of consequence thing comes in, they say you shouldn't be allowed on these websites if you're not going to say the right things. But I don't agree with that. As a speech, free speech absolutist, if you are a platform, if you have become a platform, your public use, your public domain, it doesn't matter if you're run by a private company, these websites, in my opinion, need to be counted in the public domain now. These places would be like public parks now, where yes, they can ask you to leave. Yes, if you do something blatantly illegal, they can remove you from the premises and not let you back. But ultimately, they can't keep you away forever. These are the thing. This is my opinion. The law, however, does not agree with me. And it doesn't agree with me, simply put, because Twitter has the money and power to lobby politicians, mostly left ones, to protect them. But back to my point. My point being that Twitter has a huge problem where it is now a platform. It is not. It is a public platform now, and it's still being run like a private corporation. I agree with companies being allowed, being able, and being actively allowed to determine what they do and don't allow on their website. If I ran a website, I would allow just about everything. There would be very little restrictions, you know, especially when it comes to interacting with others. It's one thing if you're spreading terrible ideas. I can say I don't agree with them, and I can even ban you if you're outright suggesting that acts of terrorism should be allowed, but on the other hand, if you want to call somebody a fat skank, I'm not going to stop you. And I got into an argument with a friend of mine the other day about how these websites tend to be book burners, where if they don't like the information that somebody's posted, they will remove it, which is a form of book burning. It's no different, really, at all, whatsoever. Well, him being a social justice type, he doesn't agree with that, and he intended to mock me, and I'm, I'm not happy with him right now. Him and I are not on speaking terms for the next few days. My problem with this kind of thing is that I get angry, and I just start going off, and I start saying what I'm thinking, and I don't think about how I'm wording it, and I word it poorly, and then all it takes is him making one snarky remark, and it shuts me down because I don't have the... He, my thought process gets interrupted. I'm a talker. I, I don't really process the words coming out of my mouth beforehand, or as I'm saying them most of the time. I usually circle back and clarify. That's just how I do things. What it comes down to with these websites is that they have a huge problem with communication, where if they don't like you or they don't want you, or even if you're nobody important, you're fucked. You know, my second Twitter account got completely shut down and taken away because I took on Assassin's Creed Sisterhood and told them that, no, they need to get out of Assassin's Creed and stop ruining it, that they're gonna fuck it all up, which... Look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They fucked things up. Actually, look at the Origins trilogy in general. Despite the fact that the first two games are still good, and the second game is exceptionally good, they made some fuck-ups in there. Like, Layla as a main character is just so fucking unlikable. And it's, it's abundantly clear what they were doing. At any rate, you can lose your entire account, millions of followers if you have them, to a couple of assholes false reporting you. Because the system is run by a robot instead of a person. And this is something that all these websites do that I absolutely hate. You have the money to afford employees. You don't need these robots. Yes, I understand having a robot to do most of the manual work of checking and going, oh, this was reported. Hey, let's cycle through and look at the worst ones. Have, an, have key words that it searches for. But it doesn't check context. What it should do is that the bot should see the things and then go, okay, this word was used... But I can't search context, so I'm going to send it to an, a living, breathing human being instead of doing it myself. And the other problem with these robots is that they have no appeal process. Their appeal process is, do you disagree with our decision? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, too bad, because we fucking said so, bitch. There's nothing you can do to fight back. You lose your account, that's it. You have to make a new one. And the thing about these websites is that... It, you can always make a new account. They cannot ever perma-ban you permanently unless they give you like a hardware ban or an IP ban. And you can change your IP. You can even change your hardware. But uh, another problem is that these websites te are tending to find ways of figuring out who's who and if someone's a returning user. That's why they ask for your phone number. Because you can always make an alternate email address. But getting another phone number, that takes time. That's a process that you're not going to want to go through just to use fucking Twitter. Granted, you could always use, like, some kind of texting app as an alternative that gives you a di an alternate number, you know, just get a second phone line. But who really wants to pay that extra money just for that? 
Now, I'd rather just have a, just make a new fucking email and call it a day. And you can endlessly return to these websites. Banning people off of them doesn't do any good. They'll just make a new account. I'm going to make a new Twitter because I've realized that I need it for my channel. Otherwise, I would just continue to avoid the website like the plague that it is. But you know, I can't, you can't go in, like me, when I lost my second account, you can't go in and tell Twitter, hey, these people false reported me because they're mad at me for saying that I don't like what they're doing with something that I actually enjoy and I don't want them to touch it. Well, Twitter doesn't care. Twitter's not going to see that. There's no living, breathing human being who's going to see that. And even if there is, they're subject to problems with them not caring about policy and them reading what you said. Like I said, Twitter's an incredibly left-leaning website. If you say that feminism, modern feminism is bad, the person who's working there, who's in the Silicon Valley, will probably just uphold the ban because fuck you for having a different opinion, you wrong thinker. It's fucking stupid and it's fucking infuriating. You can get struck down for anything. And now, we have our own fucking government, like, the fucking press secretary of the administration that is currently in office. The Biden administration, correction, the Harris regime. Uh, yeah, that's right. I said it. I firmly believe that she was, he was just to get her into office. She's the one calling the shots. They firmly believe that these websites should all be connected and be used as basically private platforms for them to control the populace. She openly admitted that she thinks if you get banned from Twitter, you should be banned from everywhere on the internet. YouTube, Facebook, everything, even if your accounts are totally unrelated. And part of the problem with this connectivity, these systems interlinking, is that that's going to happen someday. There's going to come a day where if you get banned from Twitter, well, your YouTube account is linked to your Twitter, your PlayStation, Live, your PlayStation Network is linked to your Twitter, your Steam is linked to your Twitter, because you share screenshots and stuff. Or even if they're not twinked, we already know who you are. We have your name. We have your credit card. We'll just cross-reference the info. Oh, look, there goes your Steam library. There goes your PSN. There goes your YouTube channel. Everything gone, one piece at a time. And I know I sound like a crazy person right now. What's the name of that guy that used to do Info Wars? The They're making the frogs gay guy. That guy, I can't think of his fucking name. It, uh, this is going to piss me off. I can't remember his name for the life of me. It doesn't matter. It, I know I sound like that guy right now. But in this case, it, that's what's going to fucking end up happening. And that's what they want. They've openly admitted that by saying that they think that these things should all be connected. But then where that comes in is the problem is that, as the government especially, then it becomes a public platform. Freedom of speech means you are entitled to a public platform. Yes, freedom of speech does not mean that the public has to agree with you. Yes, it doesn't even mean that they have to listen to you. We understand that. But shall not be infringed is the point. Freedom of speech doesn't equal freedom from consequence. Consequences would be infringing on my rights, you fucking dumbass. And I hear you go, but Magnum, these are private companies. They don't have, they're allowed to infringe on your rights because that only applies to the government. Yeah, and that's how they're getting away with it. We should change that rule, actually. It should be an addendum. Because the Founding Fathers, when they wrote the Constitution, had no way of accounting for that. And even if we don't have an addendum, I, and I don't think we actually should, but I do think that we should be considering, well, these platforms work closely with the government and are speech policing, so we need to enforce it upon them. Because the Founding Fathers probably didn't think of it at the time, but they should have added the clause that it anyone shouldn't be allowed to infringe your right. Your rights end where another person's begin is a famous addendum that people love to use to whenever... You try to insult somebody, or you try to threaten somebody. Well, uh, my rights have began where you are trying to tell me what I can and can't do, say, and think. But anyway, the bottom line is, I fucking hate Twitter for this reason. I truly fucking de despise Twitter for not only the reason of it has brainwashed these idiots into believing that this is legal and this is fair, and that this is okay, but they support it wholly because... It agrees with what they want. The moment it starts affecting them, oh no, it's the end of the world. That's when there's going to be a couple fucking changes. But in the meantime, we just have to suffer. And you can't do anything. You lose your fucking Twitter account, you have to make a new one. And it fucking sucks. Because Twitter doesn't give you the option to replenish it, to repair it, to get it back. It doesn't give you the option to say, hey, these people false reported me because they got mad about my opinion. And thank God, at least, as stupid as YouTube can be, thank God they actually read fucking reports sometimes. 
I can't tell you how many of my videos have probably been reported, and someone has probably gone in there, watched the whole thing, and then went, yeah, he didn't violate policy. Yeah, he's a fucking loudmouth. Yeah, he's an asshole, but he, he didn't say anything that I can get him on. Twitter, and especially Facebook, they don't have that. They, they don't hire human employees. And this guy, this friend of mine that I argued with about these things, he used to work for a company that did moderation back when they actually, you know, actually did hire more than one or two human employees instead of letting the bot do all the work. And he always goes on about, oh, nobody actually does that. They're not censoring anybody's voices. Yes, they are. If they weren't censoring anybody's voices, they wouldn't be hiding things that they don't like. They wouldn't be fact-checking. I don't know. It, it pisses me off, and I long, I yearn for a simpler time when I didn't have to worry constantly about what the corporate overlords thought. And it makes me mad that I have to go back to this website, and that I have to make a new email, and I have to sign up, and I have to set everything up again, and I have to regain my followers, and I have to find the people that I used to follow again. A fucking get a third time. It's been over a year, and I still don't want to do it. That's why I haven't done it yet. I just don't feel like it. Because I know that I'm going to say, well, I disagree with that, and someone's going to fucking go, Report, 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 report. It doesn't matter how much you behave yourself. You say the wrong thing to the wrong person, and bam, you get fucked. I'm waiting for the day that we have, like, a fucking social credit system like China. I, I know it's coming. I feel it. It's right around the fucking corner. It's going to happen in my lifetime. It's going to happen by the time that my children are teenagers. And I don't even have fucking kids. I can just, I feel it. I can feel it in my balls. Men, only men will understand this, but you will know when you feel something happening, it starts in your gut and it festers and it stirs and you feel it and then it drops down and your balls feel ten times heavier. And that's the feeling. When you know something's coming and there's nothing that you can do to stop it. That's all I have to say about it. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the fact that Twitter straight up ignores the appeal process and has no human employees. And I'll see you in the next video. Again, I have one video coming out that has been preset. It's it's one it's the finale of my 10 ways to tell if she's a man-hating feminist, which probably Chef's Kiss, best part. You absolutely need to watch it. You love to see it. But I am going to be away for a couple of days, maybe a week. I do apologize, especially to my newer subscribers. I, I thank you guys for subscribing. I hope you're looking forward to the next video, and I have a nice backlog that you can watch in the meantime. But I have to deal with these things, so that's all. See you all later. Really hope Uncle Luce just left me his boxing gloves.